everyone, Mrs Ryder here. I do hope you're all keeping safe and taking care. So we've been in this period of lockdown for a number of weeks now and just like you all, I find that I'm having to adapt to a strange new world. Mr Thompson gave you lots of great tips in a previous video all about keeping a healthy body and mind and what I'm going to be talking to you about today follows on from this. I'm going to talk to you about positivity and keeping a positive mind. Some of you listening may find yourselves keeping a positive frame of mind each day, but some of you may be finding it quite difficult to keep positive at this time. And whilst it is absolutely natural and normal to sometimes feel negative emotions, especially at a time like this in lockdown, it is also so important to our mental health to be positive. So in this session, you're going to be learning about the meaning of the word positivity learning to recognise positive qualities within yourself and some strategies and top tips to keep positive. So some of the words and phrases that you're going to be hearing me using are appearing on your screen right now. Words such as self-esteem, positive mental attitude, qualities, happiness, motivation. What does it actually mean by the word positivity then? Well, positivity means having a positive attitude. Attitude is our outlook on life and how we respond to situations. And responding in a positive way is actually incredibly empowering. It's also about being optimistic. Optimism means looking at the glass being half full rather than being half empty and thinking about situations by looking at the positives that we can take from them. It also means having positive thoughts, feelings and emotions and trying to be upbeat and hopeful even when things are tough and challenging. Now here's a task for you to do. I want you to think of somebody that's a really positive person that you know of. Now that could be um, somebody that you live with, that could be a friend of yours, that could be somebody who lives in your street or a teacher at school or it can be a celebrity. Or a figure from history it can be absolutely anybody but I want you to have a think about a positive person that you know of and what is it about them that makes them such a positive person have a think or even chat to somebody else um, in your house if you want to and maybe jot some notes down somebody with a really positive attitude who comes to mind for me is Joe Wicks who's better known as the body coach He's become really famous now, but when he wasn't so well known around five years ago, he started making really short 15 second videos with speeded up recipes for healthy eating. And he posted these short videos bursting with energy to social media platforms such as Facebook, and he soon became a social media sensation. He created healthy habits and shared these in his videos, and it was his upbeat energy and enthusiasm which engaged so many people. Since we've been in lockdown, he's been helping to keep the nation moving with his motivational PE lessons. Um, and these have reached over a million users worldwide. He recently had a stay in hospital and he needed surgery. And yet he was extremely grateful to the NHS who helped him to recover. So even that hospital stay hasn't stopped his positive attitude. The positive person or people that you came up with may have um, some of these qualities. A positive person is often very cheerful and looks on the bright side of things. They take time to appreciate the little things, things like the sun shining, being healthy, maybe being able to watch the TikTok videos their friends make. They have positive habits. They know what makes them happy and they choose to do those particular things. They look for and find good in situations. They try their best. They can enjoy life. They're often very caring people. Positive people are often very caring and care for others. And they listen to and they help other people. I now want you to think about how having a negative thought can impact you. How does it make you feel? Thinking negative thoughts frequently can increase our stress levels and this in turn can impact our health. But the good news is that if we can be more aware of these negative thoughts, if we can recognise them as they're happening, we can actually turn them around and turn them into a positive thought, which in turn can make us feel like we're more able to cope with whatever situation we're in. So now we're going to do a little activity centred on turning a negative thought around and turning it into a positive thought. 
So I want you to think of three negative statements that you've either heard other people say before or things that you've said yourself that are negative. And I want you to turn it into a positive statement. So the example that's given there is I'm rubbish at football. Turning that negative statement into a positive one could be I tried my best. I can't be the best at everything. I'll practice my shooting skills and see if I improve next time. Great way of turning a negative statement into a positive. Any of you came up with um, a negative thought about doing work at the moment? I know lots of you might actually be struggling with working from home because it's something so different to what we're, we're used to doing. Um, so this could be um, a possible statement that you wrote. I'm really struggling with working at home. I can't do anything without my teachers and I feel really stupid that I get stuck on things. Well, stopping that negative thought in its tracks and turning it into a positive could look something like this. I'm trying my best in a difficult situation. Every time I have a go at something that I find challenging, I'm building my resilience and going one step further to getting better at that skill. I'm grateful that my teachers have created work for me to have a go at, but I also know how grateful they will be for my effort. Do you see how we've turned that negative thinking and that negative thought? We've just switched it around um, and, and the vocab that we're using is much more positive. So positivity leads to happiness. Happiness is about your attitude. When you adopt a positive frame of mind, you become happy. Happiness comes from the inside. Having a positive outlook on life will make you happy, while being negative will undoubtedly lead to being unhappy. Positive thinking increases our motivation. Thinking positively will help you to follow your dreams and goals because it will push you forward. It will encourage you and help you to overcome any obstacles that you find in your path. A positive frame of mind increases your motivation to succeed and get what you want. And motivation will make you believe that you are going to get what you want. Positive attitude can increase your self-esteem. Choose to look at yourself positively and see the good in yourself don't worry about negative people and what they think and say about you when you have a positive attitude towards yourself the people around you are going to see that as well that's going to be reflected in the way that they treat you this attitude will also enhance your self-confidence your courage and your inner strength positive thinking can lead to better health People who think positively are usually very energetic people and this leads to them being healthy. Our minds have a strong effect on our body and on our health and it's even been suggested that thinking positively could um, boost your immune system. Positive thinking can also lead to improved relationships. Positive people bring joy, happiness and an uplifting energy to those around them and they're really fun to be around. So by you being positive in your attitude and in the ways that you speak and interact with those around you, you can actually have a real impact on someone else. Now is the opportunity for you to put what you've learned about positive thinking into practice in a creative format. Your task is to design a poster or create a film clip all about why positivity is so important. You could do this as an advert or a film trailer or an interview for a TV show, anything like that. If you want to, you can share your responses by posting them to Perryfield's Twitter page or you could upload them in an email uh, and send this to um, the email address for your year group. So, for example, if you are in um, year seven, you could send it to year seven at perrys.org.uk and then that would come to the year seven team.
So what then? A positive mental attitude is about having a positive approach to situations and challenges in life. It helps you achieve goals and attain success, brings more happiness, produces more energy. A positive attitude can increase your faith in your abilities. You become able to inspire and motivate yourself and others. You encounter fewer obstacles and difficulties in your daily life. And it encourages respect from other people. Here are some tips for staying positive, especially right now in lockdown. Try not to think about what might go wrong. Think about what might go right. Listen to positive people. For example, if you have social media, follow people who spread positivity and definitely avoid people who troll, as these are often people who spread negativity. Every day may not be good, but there is something good to be found in every day. And that's important more than ever right now. Positive thoughts attract positive actions. Think positively and positive things will happen. Do something that makes you smile every day. So for me, that's been sending a message to a friend, watching a funny clip on YouTube, taking 15 minutes to do a short yoga practice on my living room floor. Try not to focus on the negatives. Don't be afraid to ask for help and support. And finally, positive people are fun and inspiring to be around. So spread a little of that positivity. Take care, keep safe everyone and see you soon. Bye.